doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason. I mean, I, I've followed athletes. Uh, there's a couple on the baseball team that I follow that have suffered from concussions. Like you said, it just it doesn't look like it's very bad. Just a glancing blow to someone who was actually wearing a helmet, but knocked them out for the rest of the year. Why? Why can they vary so much? Oh, that's a that's the uh, multi-million dollar question yeah. that many scientists are trying to answer. We know that rotational injuries uh, are much more prone to result in post-concussion syndrome than uh, direct acceleration or deceleration. So in boxing, for instance, if, you, if, if a prize fighter wants to knock out his opponent, where does he hit him? He hits him in the jaw mm -hmm. and rotates his head so that there's a, uh, a translational movement to the to the brain that results in an electrical and a, and a metabolic shutdown. But why one is more prone than another, we really don't know that answer. If you have one or once you've had a concussion, are you more susceptible to getting them again? You're more susceptible susceptible if you are not managed appropriately the first time, meaning um, the NFL has instituted several criteria before you return to play. Number one, you have to become completely asymptomatic. No headache, no memory problems, no nausea. Number two, you have to be asymptomatic with a gradation or a graduated progression of aerobic activity. From a stationary bike, lifting weights, running, and then full aerobic activity, number two. And number three, you have to pass the impact neuropsych neuropsychological neurocognitive test that we developed, Mark Lovell, a neuropsychologist, and I in Pittsburgh. Uh, this is a 20-minute test that athletes are given as a baseline. Mm -hmm. If there's a concussion within 24 to 72 hours, they're retested to make sure that they get back to baseline. And uh, we now have baseline 5 million kids with this test. So it really has become the standard of care in terms of a neurocognitive test in, uh, in contact sports. Mm -hmm. And we now have it, it will in the next month or two, available down to six-year-olds. So it, it's been a major advance. But what I was getting to, if you follow those criteria, the, the implication of another concussion having long, longer lasting effects is reduced to the minimum. If you return still symptomatic, then you're risking potentially very severe problems. Mm -hmm.